Hi, welcome back to the Fast and Simple Development Channel. Today, we're going to talk about SSH. We opened up a terminal window, and in this terminal window, I'm on a Mac, I can simply run the SSH command. It has a handful of parameters at once. Running the SSH command with no options gives you a little bit of the parameters that you can use. So I'm going to connect to my AWS EC2 instance, and I can do that simply by entering SSH EC2 user, which is what I have on my EC2. I'm using a Amazon Linux. So I can go to the IP and this will log me into the machine. It's that simple. Now that I'm logged in, I can do the normal commands. I can do a PS to find out all the processes going on. I have some Node.js processes on here for my server right now. So I can do a PS-EAF, pipe in the grep and search for Node. And this tells me all the Node servers running. And I have a server running for Thomas J Consulting. All right, so that's as simple as the SSH command. Let's talk a little bit more about the SSH command. Notice this right here. A lot of times you'll have what's called a PEM file that is downloaded from the server. And in fact, I have that on the Amazon. And normally I would need to add my PEM file, which I've installed it here at tjay.pem. Sorry, tjc for Thomas J Consulting PEM and I can actually pass that in, and that will use that PEM file to open it. Let me exit back out of here. Now you notice, originally I did not enter that PEM file. Alternately, if you don't want to enter the PEM file each way, you can actually use a command called ssh-add, and then you can specify the PEM file, and that will add the identity in there. So I have that set up on my Mac to do every time I start up. So now whenever I want to run the SSH command, I do not have to add the dash I. I can just specify the user and jump right into that. So it saves me a little, little bit of time. In addition to setting that command up and startup, I actually have some scripts. And one of the scripts I call yak for no particular reason. So I have a bin directory for my user, which I source into the profile, and I can actually see what the yak command looks like. And in this case, my yak command simply runs the ssh add to the tjc pim. In addition, whenever I connect up to various servers, I give them a name. So I like to run the command tjc for Thomas J Consulting, ssh, and what that will do is actually jump into that. So I can set that up as a script or technically I could set up as an alias. I have it set up in a, as a script, that way I can copy it from machine to machine quickly. So let's see what that actually looks at as, looks like as well. So all this does in here is calls the SSH EC2 users. So this way I can simply run the TJC SSH command, I know I'm going to go to Thomas J Consulting, and I'm SSH into that machine. So that's it. Fairly fast and simple. A little description of SSH. Please feel free to look at my other videos. Follow me on my Udemy classes, on my blog, on Thomas J Consulting, as well as check out my Udemy classes, where I talk about Java programming, various EC2, Amazon, and other technologies. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.